Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're doing some more arena gameplay. Yippee! Uh, today we're doing some Olivia. Opulent Outlaw. It's a lot of O's. Uh, for four mana, one generic, a red, a white, and a black. For Mardu, you get a 3-3 Vampire Assassin. With Flying and Lifelink. Whenever one or more outlaws you control deal combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. Not bad. Uh, pay three mana and sacrifice two treasures to put two plus one plus one counters on each creature you control. Activate only as a sorcery. The sorcery part's a bit of a shame, but I understand why they did it. And I do wish it was like each outlaw made you a treasure token, but that'd be busted as hell probably. So it's only one or more, but still pretty good. Uh, yeah, so this card, this, this card, this deck has a lot of outlaws in it. And for those of you who don't know, outlaws are assassins, mercenaries, pirates, rogues, and warlocks. Which is a weird set of... Anyway, a new thing for them. Who knows? <clears throat> new to this set. Oh, but yeah, we got just you know, a bunch of the classic outlaws. And, you know, got a rogue and a rogue. Uh, a rogue. Uh, a rogue. A lot of rogues. I'm going to keep it real. There's a mercenary. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's just Mardu good stuff, basically. Just with a theme on... With emphasis on treasures. And, you know, mercenaries. Not mercenaries. Good lord. Outlaws. There's a few cards in here that I put in here for flavor, just because even they don't fit the theme perfectly. Like, Olivia from Shadows. Over in Estrad. Then you have Olivia from... Oh, God, what was that set? Crimson Vow. They're not technically a mercenary. They're not technically an outlaw, but... You know, it's Olivia. It fits the theme. Yeah, for the most part, this is just a hit people in the face and make treasures deck. Pretty simple. Got our lands here. Again, just a lot of a lot of treasure makers and a lot of us mercenary. God, I keep saying mercenaries. A lot of outlaws. Good lord. There we go. We'll get into it. Okay, let's see what we got. My real shield of Argive. Interesting, interesting. Mono white tokens. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. There's a few, you know, Revel Witches, Alternate Wind Con. Got Mondrak in here for tokens. United Processions again for double tokens. Um, do I wanna? I'm gonna risk it. Don't know, risk it for the biscuit. Uh, is it planes? Yeah. Do that. You know what? Do this, and then we should be able to get into Bile Smasher. Next turn, we can Face Breaker or land. I'm probably Face Breaker just to get the treasure. Oh, I don't want to look at their hand. Uh, let's Face Breaker and then look at their hand. Yeah, so Face Breaker isn't a. Uh, outlaw, but it does help with the treasure theme. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do that. No tokens for you, sir. Okay, my rel is out. I mean, they can't activate things. Um, yeah, why not? Let's toss out Olivia. Do one damage. Swing you with the breaker. Get a treasure. And you know what? Let's do it, because I don't want you to have... Let's see what they got. Oof. Oh, now I know all they have in there when their hand was lands. Six mana. That seems like a pretty good card. Eh, I won't block for now. I want to toss out Mondrak. Hmm. I think so. Yeah, that's probably stupid of me. Hmm. Unfortunately, that it's a two-four flyer, and I have no, 
I'm gonna have to do Lannery Storm next turn for three. Oh, I'm screwed. Wow, this card's been a lot of work for them. Oof. Oof. Oh, Sarah Redeemer, pretty good card, huh, guys? Who would have thought? Good lord. Holy moly. Well, and that's GG's for your boy here. Yep, yep, yep. I can't do much here. Um, I can attack. I'm dead. I'm gonna say, oh, I didn't hit land. I'm a fool. Yeah, GG's. Well, you know, let them, let's let them have this one, you know? I feel bad. They did their thing. Seems a little unnecessary, but sure. Go ahead and play her out, I guess. I'm not going to activate anything anyway, so not really a point. There you go, buddy. I'll let you get your attacks in. You're worth it. Blah. Clearly, I should have gone with the Redeemer instead of uh, the other thing in their hand. Oh, well. Okay, what do we got here? We got a Trax. <laughs> oh, goody. Praetor's Voice, my favorite. Um, sure. Some removal, why not? They'll play the Triome. Can't go wrong with removal, you know? Especially in an Atraxa deck. Let's play out my boy Vile Smasher. Entire uh, Nation. Oh, it's a Toxic deck. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, let's do a Swamp. Cast out Olivia. Swing with Vile Smasher. Hit you for three and pass. Alright, they got two mana so far. Grafted Butcher is a pretty cool card. Okay, let's see here. She won't trigger, but she will, but they're gonna probably would block, right? Let's do some math here. Well, uh, the math is, um, lightning bolt to the pestilence cipher. And then swing in for three. I probably could do that in a little bit different order, but here we are. Okay, didn't draw land. I'll take a free win. Okie dokie. Okay, what do we got here? Golos. Awesome. Love going against Golos. That's the value engine. Oh boy. That's certainly a hand. I kind of want to keep it, but. Um. No, I think I can draw. I, probably, I should probably play it safe. Well, that's even worse, but. Not as bad, but. Uh, yellow. I mean, let's play out my... Let's put a prime piece out right of that way so they can remove that instead. <clears throat> okay, drew it. Ain't no way that they, uh... Blocking either one of these, so we swing it in. Up. 
Okay. Oh, all right. Sure. Okie dokie, let's see what we got here. World of Commands, Warren Chief. Who the heck is this person? Um, yeah, sure. It's not terrible, I'll keep it. What does he do? Remember, enters the battlefield or attacks with the top card of your library. If it's land, put it on the battlefield tapped. If it didn't put land this way, create a 1 1. Okay. Pretty cool. Uh, this card's actually kind of goaded, I'm not going to lie. Generous Plunderer. Pretty good. These seems like a person going to be casting a lot of stuff, so I'm going to do that. Whenever an attack, sorry, legendary creature gains death touch. That's actually pretty interesting. Okay, let's see. What shall we do next turn? Don't make him fight, you piece of garbage. So it's like a fight, it's like a fight deck then? Interesting. Let's uh, cast out my boy Plunder. Why not? Let's uh, get this train rolling. Hook up my homies, you know? Ooh, that's a good card. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm probably going to block that, right? Sure. You get a treasure. You get a treasure. Everyone get a treasure. Let's do that. Um, two of them, huh? Let's send out the Zorn. Um, yeah, sure. I'll get some extra damage in since they have two artifacts. So it's four damage total. Because the Arabrask is an artifact. Did I miss another land drop? Oh, let's see. Oh, they got some removal land. Do they have a land drop? Although I kind of helped them with the treasure, but you know. I'm thinking about it. I don't know what this card does. Oh, the commander, okay. See him? See if they can get a land. They did not. Yeah, I'll take the two and a three. I'll take five. Oh, just the two? Definitely gonna got him more for that, but alright. Definitely got an extra three there. Oh, why? I don't mind if I do. Okay, let's see here. Let's do the boss. How's that control? Hey, so make two one ones. And then I think we cast Olivia. And then I think we send in Olivia just to get the trigger. Should I make three? Or should, oh, let's make one. Yeah, okay. And then next turn, we can just kill them, I think. if they Well, it depends how they attack. If my math is correct. Oh, they move oh yeah, they have no mana, sadly. Which is a bit unfortunate, yeah. Okay, fair enough. I think we had an next turn anyway, just from the uh, Rush of Dread, Half Their Life, round it up. Put them down to nine. And then just swinging with everything, or swinging with the buffed up Olivia, or you know what I mean? And then this thing, that's at least two. I think we probably could have had it. But, eh, sorry, this had to leave. 
Okay, we got Narset, Enlightened Master. Oh, goody. I love this deck. This card is really great. That Dotsie is going to be huge. Although, oof, I got nothing to do. That was a problem. You know, we'll risk it for the biscuit. Swamp into Thought Season to Bajuka Bog. That's not bad, too. Might be a risky keep. We'll see. Yeah, well. Bully for you. Oh, God. That's like a problem. Was it from your hand or library? I mean, I feel like I need to either get rid of their acceleration, right? Is that stupid? That's probably a bad call, but... Oh, boy. They're probably like, what? <laughs> like, well, I'm, my plan is a Bajuka Bog next turn anyway, so get rid of it. I don't know. My, I don't know what it, my... <laughs> I'm pretty bad at threat assessment. I'm going to keep it real. I don't know, are they in, like, disbelief that I took that card, or they're like, what is this person doing? <laughs> yeah, play the map. Get rid of the rich. Maybe that'll slow him down? I don't know. Because, like, once she's on the field, I can't do crap, basically. I have no way to get rid of Hexproof currently. Crack the bobble. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. Uh, I don't have any white mana, sadly. But I can get the Nighthawk out this turn. Or next turn. This, yeah, you know what I mean. Pretty good if I had white mana. There's the scavenger. Let's see, they got four mana, they need two more for Narset. That's one, two, three, four, five mana for Narset. Can they ball in their hand for the other one? Let's see. They get a land, then they get Narset next turn. Cracker Jacks. I should probably should have mulliganed, man. I was, I was like, oh, removable. That's easy, you know. Hook them up, but trying to white sources. Yeah, here comes Narset. A red source. You know she ain't gonna block, so. She can't block anyway, I might as well swing in. Like, I can't block it anyway, because it's got first strike, so. Maybe she'll whiff. You know? Although it was 7, 8, 9, 10, what, 10 mana? They're at 5, 6 mana so far. The next turn, they'll be able to Omniscience. Plus, I have to get out of here, too, like, as. Unless they whiff completely at all lands, like. Oh, that's. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Okie dokie. What do we got? Galadriel of Lothorian. Oh, good lord. Lothorian? Lothorian? La. Yeah, that one. Uh, let's mulligan that. Oh, jeez. From one color to the other. Um, let's see. How are we gonna have to mulligan this too? Uh, sure. Just because I don't wanna mull again. <laughs> mull again, get it? Like mull again. Oh, gee, it's not hilarious. What is, is this the indestructible one? Oh, it's the scrying one. Oh boy. This card is only playable in arena, I think, online, because there's too many triggers otherwise, in my opinion. 
You haven't even well, just play a card. You haven't even you have nothing in your graveyard. You're fine. But yeah, this card seems like a, a headache. Whenever you scry, reveal a card, but then like. Obviously, the whole deck is filled with scrying stuff, so it's just scry after scry, and it's trigger you have to like level them up. It just seems like a lot of work. Oh boy. A land would be nice. A red land would be nice, I should say. Let me clarify that. Okay, they got two colors, three mana. Their commander. Hey, Eland. I'm gonna do this because I don't want you to have any value. Because I've seen that deck pop off and it can get insane immediately. Take that, one damage. I'm gonna ping you down slowly but surely. Another red source would be great. Actually, any other land would be nice. I can get Olivia out there. Oh yeah, maybe or maybe Chandra if it's a red source. Hmm, just attempt to get some of that damage burning. Okay, another land. No, yeah, whenever you scry. Okay. Hmm, I only have one green source out, so sadly not enough. I right, let's see if they block. Interesting, okay. I definitely went out of block that. There's nothing in my graveyard. Like, I'll, I'll take the one damage to keep my scrying machine up. I don't know. Seems weird. I think it's huge as soon as you scribe one time, basically. The mother goose! Alright then. Hey, swamp. Uh, let's do this. Get rid of the Goose Meister. Get you for one. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're getting there slowly. We're slowly getting there. Should I have Kepper Move for Galadriel? Maybe. But... Meh. I'm full of bad decisions and I used to make and I usually make them all the time. Yeah, there's that. And one blue, eh? Oh boy. Let's see, are they gonna oh, same with that card wash away me? Let's cast Lilith though. I thought they're gonna be casting some spells next turn. Try and get me some uh, treasures. You got six mana, probably a seven. Okay, a lot of thinking to do. It's pretty early in the turn, so you like. Two, yeah, one creature out. <laughs> What's there to think about here? The fuck is this? And it was kicked. All creatures. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I got a block. I'm assuming you have protection. Although, why would you? Weird. Okay. I mean, I guess it's a, a way to board wipe in those colors. That's not bad. I respect it. Let's go for the red. Let's let's see. Up tickets and I'll have three mana. Yeah, it won't really do me any good. Um yeah, let's just do let's do this. I'll pick it to one. Can't cast it sadly. Boom, hit you for one. I've never seen this card before in my life. Didn't realize it was from uh, 
Zendikar Return to the Third, whatever it was called. Zendikar, was it Rising? I don't remember. Does it tell me on the bottom? Nope. Return to Zendikar, Return to Return to Return to? And they have a lot of mana. Four cards, man, still. You know I didn't see as I had that card in their hand. That's on the field rip. Like, I wouldn't mind, but they're playing just so slow. Like, just do stuff. You don't have to think about every fucking move. I don't know. Am I being nitpicky? Because I had nothing to do? Probably. The hell is this thing? Sure, why not? Actually, no, let's play Olivia on the next turn. Well, I swear to God, if you wash away, I'm conceding. Okay. That's the one, honestly, that's the one of the cards. If I get washed away, I usually concede on the spot because it's a stupid card and it should not be in the commander. Or Brawl. Whatever you want to call it, because it's a stupid fucking card. Can it reach? No. Pardon my French, of course. I don't mean to swear. Oh. Why are they holding these cards back? I would love a land here, though. But... Give me some life, get some treasure tokens going. Cool. And end the turn. A little, a little slow, but next turn we should be Gucci. It's crazy the only thing that triggers once each turn. Especially if you wipe the board, dude. I don't think I have that many cards in hand, I still have nothing to do, bro. <laughs> yeah, all lands or what? Jeez. Can I, can I pick my creatures? X Tiger creatures, yeah. That's kind of funny. Hmm. And his map is controlling the creatures. Draw a card. Ah, okay. So they got like a weird, like a plus one, plus one theme, but also. Interesting. What a weird deck. I mean, I'm gonna let you hit me for five. Yeah, go for it. Me turn. Okay, let's do some math here. Five. They have no mana open. Currently. Um, is that full swing in? Probably, right? Oh, no. Let's do that. One, two, three, and two. I have one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five. I need five for that. Damn. Well. Let's, um. Uh, let's do. Let's do this for five. Hold on. Do the math in my head. Baba Booey. The math was there. We got there. They still have a lot of mana, but. They said wipe the board of all their shenanigans. For the moment, at least.
Okay, what do we got here? What do you got? Look at Tiny Bone, little rascal. Oh, he's got a key. All right. Okay, rebuilding time, pretty much. Oh, that's a that's a very good card. I recommend it to everybody, especially in this deck. Subscribe. Keep it up top. What are they doing? What are they thinking? What are we thinking here? I will lose some life. I'll lose one. Easy peasy. Pay some life here. Let's do Olivia. Actually, let's do a Vampire Vein Ripper. And I think I'll toss out the... No, I think I'll hold on to them. I'll just hold back. Hold up something. Maybe they think I got something good. So if Vayner still live, they should be able to... Um, kill them, unless they gain life. Because it's half rounded up. So half of 13 rounded up would be 7. So that would be 1 short. Damn. But, whenever a creature dies. Oh, a creature? Oh, okay. Yeah, and then no matter what, I think I win next turn. I'm gonna do this first and then swing in. Right? We'll see. Uh, you can draw a card. Yep, do all your triggers. For the counter, yep, okay. Oh, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Whenever a creature... Yeah, that's so insane. When a creature dies. Okay, let's just do this. Uh... Oh, I guess my math was right. There you go. There we go. That's why it's cards in this deck. Just for, like, shenanigans. Like... Oh, you're at 20? Let's took you to 10, and they're like that kind of thing. My math is a lot, of course, but... I feel like half of 13 rounded up would be... Four would be 7, but I guess it's 6 in this game. Okie dokie, we got Kyora, Sovereign of the Deep. This is from uh, Aftermath, I believe. Ooh, that is certainly a mulligan, for sure. Right, just one from Aftermath. It is, yeah, really good one actually. Mm, uh, not my favorite, but we'll hold on to it. All right, what do we got here? Utopia Sprawl. Let's see, let's see. Vigilance Ward Three Four. Jeez. Oh, when you cast a Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, or Serpent from your hand, look at the top X card of your library where X is that spell's mana value. You may cast a spell with mana value less than X from among them without paying its mana cost. Seems kind of busted. But okay. Yep, I am in fact playing Mardu Colors, believe it or not. This might triumph. Yeah, this whole deck is just rampant to big stuff. Here I am, like a pleb with two mana on turn three. And they're at, what, six? My bad. Pfft, didn't realize I was playing that kind of game. Oh, entry for two, I guess. Because God knows I'm going to need it. Hmm. I think I just need to gonk you next turn, right? Two mana? What are you gonna do? What you gonna do with it? That's a pretty good thematically card in your deck. <laughs> Wish you wouldn't have cast it. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think um I like can rankle and just making them sack it. I think that might be the play. Sadly I'm gonna 
have to get rid of uh, Captain Lannery Storm, but you know. Uh, discard and sack. Uh, do I ever gonna? Am I gonna get here? Probably not. But I really want to keep it. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I'm stupid. Okay. Yeah. I think this rankle might be the only thing keeping me alive. <laughs> Just because, granted, they have some mana to cast more creatures, but as long as I can keep putting a creature out, this rankle can go unchecked pretty good. It's tower. I said I sacked him, and I don't want to do that. I think I'm gonna Gaunty. If, the, if they'll let me, of course. They do have seven mana open. Well, I'll take that. And we will just move to combat. Achiever three. Uh, let's have everyone discard. I mean, if I can get to omniscience, I mean, that'd be crazy. That would be crazy. I will have to end it there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Ah, there it is. Well, I'm assuming they're gonna bounce. What would they even bounce though? I mean, Rankle, maybe? Just to have to make it recast it, but. Is there any escape cards in here? I didn't see any yet, but. No, oh, Regrowth. Why wouldn't you go for the token? Interesting. Yeah. Oh, Securitus. Interesting. Circuitous. Yeah, I could use a fucking removal spell right about now. I mean, that did reset me a little bit. I'll give him that. I'm about to take seven damage. Oof, da. Hmm. I think I have to just do this. I think I have no choice to send this out here. I'm gonna do this just so I can keep rankle around. I have no cards in hand, so let's just do that. As much as I like Jasper Fun, I need to get rid of that whole breaker and I need to keep rankle around to stop them from casting cre playing creatures. I know it kind of messes up my uh, omniscience plan a little bit, but how much else I can do? Might as well. Uh, let's mother load, actually. Let's give it a shot. Put it in my hand, I guess. I have a sword. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I guess that checks. That math checks out. Jesus Christ. Really, bro? You had a... F okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Like I said, they level the Druid class. I know they got nothing going on here. Oh. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Didn't know the card was even legal in this, this format. Oh, it goes back. I was like, where is it? it? Goes back in the library. I forgot. I mean, might as well just cast the omniscience. Might as well cast everything I can. This ain't much, sadly, but. I might as well cast it. Fill up the board a little bit. Let's see. There are mutates. Hmm. I mean, sure, I guess. Why not? Oh, 
I can mutate it for six. Okay, like, where's the math coming from here? No cards this card, so I mean I know I have the you know the omniscience, but I really don't have much to cast with it, sadly. But I guess better me than them. The question is what do I get rid of? I feel like I gotta do tiny. I think I get rid of Gonti just so tiny bones potentially can cast something from their graveyard. They do have a mana, but they can potentially have something going on here. Or I just cast Olivia next turn, honestly. Just to beef up the team potentially, too. Are they upset? Is that why they stopped, or are they thinking? Well, hopefully I don't have to speed this footage up, and I can just, you know... Hopefully they reconnect. <laughs> well, yeah, Olivia's pretty cool. I mean, to be fair, I did steal their omniscience, so... I get it. I'd be upset a little bit, too. Plus, if I just... Stop their whole thing from happening, getting rid of Kiora. I can never say her name. Kiora, again, for like the fifth time now. But like, I mean, look at that ability, though. It's insane. Like, I can't let that sit on the battlefield, man. <laughs> like, what do you want from me? The card is nuts. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, if I, if I could potentially get Tiny Bones in, I could, like, get the whole Breach, whole Breaker. Holy, it's even. Where they went. Uh, sure, why not? Okay. There we go. They're, they made it back. They have 10 mana currently. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty good too. What is this thing? Oh, they have 10 so exactly. Cool. Oh, you can only mute. What? Interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. You can only mutate onto something that you. Creatures, interesting. Okay, good to learn something new every day. Well, I guess I'm just gonna cast it, cast it normally then. That's actually very interesting. I never would have guessed that, like legitimately. Ew, interesting. I did kind of screw myself because I already cast the tiny bones, or I did the tiny bones thing, but. How much mana do I have? Oh, I said, so we. I'd have, what, one, two, three, four, five mana? Okay. Did I just cast their commander? Hey, look, it's a uh, Mary, Mary Lodge, Mary Lady. Woohoo! I can't get rid of that thing, can you? If only I still had that sword of plowshares. Yee! <laughs> oh, God. 
Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, man. Well, this took, a, this took a dark turn. I'm gonna keep it real. I mean, I'm not gonna block. I can't block next turn anyway, so I might as well just take the 11 and hope for the best. I hope I don't draw a land. What did I just say? I hope I don't draw a land. You know, I really hate this game sometimes, you know? Okay, dokey. Jetmere, Nexus of Rebels. Love this little guy. Let's see if he's nice to me. I doubt it. Let's see what he does here. Oh, oh, gee, oh, game's freaking out. Oh, never mind. I guess I'll never know. Um, hmm. I kind of like this hand. I'm going to keep it. It's a little risky, I know. You just get plus one and have vigilance as long as you control three. Uh, plus one trample vigilance with six. And then plus one trample double strike vigilance if nine or more creatures. So, pretty good card, I would say. Pretty good. Let us do. I think they're going to try and maybe ramp. Let's try some loads, though. Nope, I should have said something else. If I get land. If I got a land, that's what I was asking for, game. Let's get the Blunderer and let's swing in for two. I highly doubt they're going to block because they want the ramp. Give me all the damage I can get. They got four creatures, four mana. Excuse me, three creatures. Two, good lord. Two creatures, four mana. Oh, that's it. As much as I don't want to give them that, I need it for myself, sadly. I need it just now or I'm not going to be able to survive. Let's do that. Get my second spell. Get my treasure back. Okay. Let's swing in for two. I literally had no choice. Like... Although, funny enough, I just realized, because it's target player and this thing gives them hexproof, I did, they didn't actually get the extra uh, um, treasure token. It's kind of funny. Now you can have this one for real this time. Well, let's try and harp on their mana as much as I can here. I know it's not the ideal play, but... Question is, will they block this? I don't know if I would if I was them. I probably let that go through on both sides. They can't cast a lie. Yeah. Shame doesn't like exile it. Do they have naturalized? No, okay. I was gonna say. <clears throat> Alright now, well, getting some mana going here. Oh boy, okay. They got five mana now. Oh, that's pretty good. What are you gonna fight though? The plunderer? Probably. Yeah, that checks out. Fair. Fair enough. I probably done the same thing. Ooh, that's interesting. Although I don't have... So I don't have a way... They're going to get the tie the next turn. I don't have a way to stop that. However... Do I just go for the dragon? And just try and hit him with damage? I think that's what I do. Although... Jet net, ooh, uh, what's his face going to come down next turn and hit me real good? 
I need all the blockers I can get, honestly. Even if it's only one life, like... I think I'm dead. I think I am dead. One, two, three, four, five, plus six, seven. Let's have trample plus two. Yeah, I think I'm just dead. Oh, they paid for it. Oh, maybe not. Although this set for two, right? Yeah. No, what? In tarnation? Are they trying to hit? Oh, they're trying to hit me one turn. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I'm obviously gonna block the Cogwell, like. Yeah, yeah, I've destroyed my uh, smothering die. That's fair. That's fair. Don't like it, but it's fair. The question is, does he return Cogwell to his hand? He has a human. I'm assuming you would, right? <clears throat> yep. Man, I just did not have the cards, so sadly. Unfort. Unfortnite. I don't even think. I don't even think. Oh, that was the wrong one, anyway. Even with that, it's two, like, I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This will be eight with Torrens. I, I think I'm dead either way next turn, so. Just cast everything. Just in the off chance I live. Do I want to cast? I don't think I want to attack, honestly. Sure, why not? Fingerboard would be nice to have last turn. Or this turn. Yeah, whatever. Three, four, five, six mana. Seven with the taxidermist available. Pretty sure they're going to cast their commander and then one other creature, and then that's game. Oh, they have a land too? Yeah, it's definitely game over. I'll let them do their thing for a second here, but that's pretty much game. Yep. Yeah. One more creature, you got it. I believe in you. Any day. Here we go. There you go. I'm proud of you. <gasps> okay. We got Shieldred. I hope it goes well. Ooh, that's a pretty decent opening hand. Question is, I don't have anything to do to turn three. Do I risk it for the biscuit? Sure. Because why not? Rob of the Rich, pretty fun, pretty good. Shame we're not on the play, you know what I'm saying? Let's send her out. Him out, whatever it is. Hit you for two. Oh. Great! I love going against decks that make me kill my stuff. Ugh, it's gonna be a freaking annoying game to play right now. Yeah, go ahead and cast your uh, other edict effect. Oh no, no, okay, okay, great. Uh, I'm black. Yoink. Um, I mean, I guess I'll cast Olivia. Get a hatred token out of it. I wonder if they're going to cast their commander. <laughs> I have no removal. Oh, that's annoying too. Question is, do you go for Olivia or do you go for the Facebreaker? Oh, interesting. See, I would have gone for the Facebreaker. But that's just me, I guess. That's just me, I guess. Now I'm going to get two triggers. Treasure, treasure, bye bye. Six mana again, then I'm gonna cast Olivia. 
Apparently, I had no idea what's in my hand. I, only, I understand that, but <laughs> I don't know. The face breaker I feel like would have been more important to get because it has menace. I guess Olivia has flying, but still. Now, they cast their commander. They have five mana currently. I sack the face breaker. Oh, interesting. Sure. I would have gone. Eh, eh, well, you know, I'm not playing this game there. It's at least five damage I can hit him for. Playing springs. That's mother loaded yellow. Oh, sure. Sure. <laughs> Why not? I guess they just just in case they need to, they got more creature removal stuff. Nah, it seems like they didn't draw the cards I needed to. They're at five mana currently. Unless they have removal a board wipe this turn or six, like Fiora or something. Or Blood in the Snow. But I don't running Snow Swamps, but still, I mean, you still ride a board wipe. They have the Damnation art, so maybe they have the Damnation. Is that even legal? I don't even know. Sack a creature. Looks like that's GG, because they... I mean, I can boost my team up pretty crazy right here. Just enough. Let's just do it twice, and then we'll move on with their life. I had to do it at least twice just to get the full damage on the other side. Though, so. Cool. GG's. I'm going to end on that one just because... I don't know, the deck... It didn't do, the other opponent unfortunately didn't draw what they needed to. But I feel like that showcased what the deck could do when it's like unimpeded for like two turns, not even. One turn, two turns. It kind of pops off pretty crazy. I don't know. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Um, I, I don't actually get salty during these games if that's an issue for somebody. People, it's annoyance, not like, but like, as soon as the match is over, whatever. Next match, let's go for it. So I, the the anger I feel toward in the match isn't real anger, I promise. But yeah, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching.